Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus for episode 4 of 5 on alternative energy ideas. You know, why we need it, where it comes from. Make sure you check out the other episodes we've done so far. We had our guest Julian Hugot in earlier. You can talk to him over on Twitter if you have alternative energy questions at jhug00 or me at Trace Dominguez. But what countries are leading the way in alternative energy? Who's winning it right now? Who's killing it? The USA kind of sucks at alternative energy. We're not really good at it. We, we aren't putting the money or the effort in the way that some of these other countries are. According to Bloomberg New Energy Finance's latest energy investment report, China is leading the world in investing in renewable energy. We come in second in the US. We boosted our investment 8%, which is you know, fine, it's about 51.8 billion, and that puts us in second place. But investing in future renewables needs to be backed up by building renewables. Japan is actually up to 41.3 billion. It's the biggest market for solar power, which means they're actually doing stuff with solar power. Europe grew their investment 1% despite their funding for offshore wind, which is a whole different thing. They're building offshore wind plants in Europe as well, and that's not included in this. So this is, a huge thing. In the US, we're like investing in stuff, but we aren't constructing it all over the United States in the way that some of these other countries are. Around the world, 100 gigawatts of solar and wind power capacity were built in 2014. That's up from 74 watts in 2013. And the world energy consumption makes that kind of dwarfed, though. It's 17.7 terawatts of energy is consumed globally. So 100 gigawatts of solar and wind sounds great on paper, but that's you know not that much. And, and in case you didn't do that math, that's 17,700 gigawatts globally. So we cut out about 100 of that. It's not that much. According to ecowatch.com, there were five records broken in 2014. Uh, Denmark set a new world record for wind production. That's pretty great. From wind alone, Denmark got 39.1% of all of their electricity. They're currently on track to get 50% of all their power from renewables by 2020. And they're planning on being completely renewable run by 2050. That's incredible. In the UK, wind power rose 15% last year, which is more than any other year. A Berlin-based think tank announced that renewable energy was the biggest contributor to Germany's electricity supply in 2014. Nearly 26% of that country's power generation comes from clean sources. In December of 2014, wind turbines supplied the electrical needs of 164% of Scottish households. That's more than there are people in Scotland. That's 3.96 million homes. That's crazy. They did that all with wind turbines all by themselves. Ireland hit two wind energy records in 2014 as well. They, uh, these are according to figures by EarGrid, which is their, their Ireland's grid system. From January of 2015, wind energy created 1,942 megawatts of energy. That's enough to power 1.26 million homes. It's pretty awesome. By 2020, the European Union is actually mandating that 20% of their energy come from renewable resources. Every member state of the EU has a different exact target, but they, on average, will have a 20% figure. That's incredible. That will reduce Europe's greenhouse gas emissions by 80 to 95% by 2050, which is below the levels they were emitting in 1990. So they're going back in time with their emission levels, and that's insane. But hands down, the best country for alternative energy, that's hard to say. Yes, China invests the most, and yes, we invest the second most, and yes, Denmark has almost 50% of their energy from renewables, but no one country is doing it the best so far. Everybody's just got goals. We're just kicking the energy football down the field every year, and unfortunately, the US being the richest and arguably the most powerful country on the planet isn't kicking it as far as maybe we should, in my opinion. But what do you think? Why don't you tell us in the comments down below? Come back to Test 2 Plus every single day for more videos and come back tomorrow for our last episode in this series, which are the crazy town alternative energy ideas. And I do mean some of these, they're pretty crazy. Thanks for watching. Come say hi on Twitter, at Trace Dominguez, and we'll see you next time on Test 2 Plus.